Hello students, welcome you in our today's session. This is Anita Goswami, Assistant Professor of English, Government College, Rajgarh Churu. Our today's topic is a poem entitled The Love Song of J. Alfred Prufrock by T.S. Eliot. This poem is prescribed in B.A. Part 2nd, M.G.S.U. Bikanir, Paper 1st of English Literature. Before moving ahead, Let's have a brief intro of the poet and poem as well. So, our today's session is actually an introductory session where we will discuss about a brief uh, information, brief detail about our poet T.S. Eliot and our today's poem as well. Thomas Tunz Eliot, who was the most popular, renowned modernist poet of 20th century, was born in 1888 and died in 1964. He was the most influential literary figures of the 20th century. He was a poet, playwright, literary critic and publisher as well. Basically, he was an American. Born in America, Elliot subsequently shifted to England in 1915. He was educated at Harvard University and Oxford University. In 1927, Elliot became a British citizen and about the same time he entered the Anglican Church. Elliot gave a new shape to 20th century poetry by defying conventions in terms of literary creations. His poetry was reflective of the angst of the most uh, modern civilization. Elliot's growth as a poet is clearly seen in his works as there is a perceptible change in the tenor in his later years. Apart from his famous poems, Elliot wrote several plays and experimented with poetic drama. His most popular poem, literary creation, The Wasteland, which was published in 1922, The Love Song of J. Alfred Prufrock, 1917, and four quartets in 1943. These were the poems which gave him a cult following and established new trends in poetry. Eliot attained tremendous success through his literary essays as well as his plays. Eliot's plays like Murder in the Cathedral, which came in 1935, The Family Reunion in 1939, The Cocktail Party in 1949, The Confidential Clock, in 1954 and the elder statesman in 1959 these were the, these were published in one volume in 1962 he was awarded the nobel prize in literature in 1948 so let's have a brief intro of our today's poem the love song of j alfred prufrock is a poem by the poet and critic t s Eliot and a key document of literary modernism. However, this poem is regarded the modern dramatic monologue of uh, which is most popular in modernist poetry. It was first published in Poetry Magazine in June 1915 and later collected in Eliot's first book, Prufrock and Other Observations, which came out in 1917. The poem, written in 1911, is framed as a dramatic monologue. As we already know, this technique, dramatic monologue, is most associated with the Victorian poet Robert Browning, who often used it to bring voices from the past back to life, while expressing an ironic distance from them. For example, in Browning's most sustained use of the technique, The Ring and the Book, which came out in 1868 or 69, it was a succession of characters present dramatic monologues on 17th century murder trial, each from their own subjective perspective. This makes it all the more striking that rather than the crisis moment on which Browning's dramatic monologues tended to circle and focus, the subject of Eliot's poem is its speaker's inability to act. 
the j of proof of the title is a frustrated indecisive young upper class man who was worried about so many things who was worried about aging as we will go through the text of this poem we we will find the line though i have seen my head grown slightly bald upon a platter interestingly eliot expresses this worry the sense of already being too late in zarring misery which mixes the contemporary fashion for surrealist images which was seems to be the vulnerable biblical story of saint john the baptist indeed the prophetic scenes nervous of the talk of michael angelo eliot has given his poem an extremely learned epigraph from dante's inferno as we find that at the very beginning of this poem there is a epigraph which has been taken from dante's classic work inferno yet often the imagery is mundane in one of the poem's most memorable lines he has measured his life out in coffee spoons though the poem's lack of immediately recognizable rhymes metrical pattern or stringy structure means that it has often been described as being in free verse as we find that the whole poem is written in free verse the poet and critic craig rene all argues against this description pointing out that it is actually strewn with rhymes and is mostly iambic or iambic for long stretches so this is all about the different critical views of different critics regarding of this poem so however at its most simplistic there is, here is a character prufruk he is the uh, this poem prufruk is the inner monologue of a city gentleman who is stricken by feelings of isolation and inadequacy and in incapability of taking decision and etc it is considered one of the most visceral emotional poems and remains relevant today particularly with the millennials who are more than a little bit used to these feelings as we can find that it is a variation on the dramatic monologue a type of writing which was very popular from around 1572 to 1922 as examples of dramatic monologues include marshall proust Henry James in Portrait of a Lady, Robert Browning in Soliloquy of Spain is called the most infam- infamous of all. There is Jan- uh, James Joyce's Ulysses, for which the term stream of consciousness writing was invented. So here, a proof book is an early prototype of the stream of consciousness writing, although it leans far more towards Browning's than Joyce's. So, this is all about the brief introductory part of our two day session where we have discussed about a little of the poet and also the poem the love song of the alfred proof as we find that it is one of the early points of eliot aiming at mm, uh, exposing the sordid nature of modern civilization the purposeless lives of people and the monotony of routine in human life so the poem also brings to limelight the hollowness the hypocrisy of modern civilization so the whole poem reveals the psyche of a man who lives in the inferno of modern life prufruk who is a citizen of eliot's poetic world a thorough representative of the disillusioned modern world he is an incarnation of modern man the well educated over civilized highly eloquent but emotionally sterilized at the same time so thank you students this is for now and in our today in our next session we will go through the text of this poem so this is that's all for today thank you